Ciao everybody, welcome back at Carboni's Next Door Deli here once again with Chef Donna. Today I would like to show you an idea on how to cook our pumpkin ravioli. Pumpkin ravioli with bada, sage, sour cherries, pecorino romano and vincotto. And with the sweet sour notes of those ravioli, a gavi from Balbi Soprani is a perfect match. Our pumpkin ravioli, freshly made every morning in our kitchen. And today I'm picking up some vincotto, some dried sour cherries, sage, pecorino romano, and some local ingle nook butter. To start, of course, flame on, and you wanna have already your pot with salted boiling water going. Five minutes recipe. Super easy, super tasty. So you wanna start with butter, which roughly 80 grams, and then you wanna pick some sage, let's say roughly 20 leaves, and you wanna have the butter melting over a gentle heat. You don't want to burn it, but you want to get it definitely brown and fried. Now, while that is happening, you want to have 40 grams of sour cherries, roughly sliced. This will bring some acidity and sweetness to the dish. As they're ready, we just wait for the sage to be fried. It's important that we don't burn the sage, otherwise you're gonna extract all the bitterness out of it and it's not gonna be that pleasant. Our pasta can go in. Ravioli takes literally two minutes because it's a fresh product, of course. Generous amount of water. Okay. Once you can start smelling an intense flavor of sage, you wanna remove it and set aside. As you can see the butter start browning and that's exactly what we want. We're gonna transfer our sour cherries in there for a quick cook. Oh, that smells good. All right, now before the butter goes a little bit too far, we're gonna add some uh, of the cooking water. I suggest you to use a little. It's now time, after two minutes, to transfer our ravioli into the pan. Now, when tossing ravioli, you wanna be, of course, gentle. When cooking fresh pasta, always remember that the sauce is gonna thicken quicker than usual, and those fresh starches are gonna help you obtaining a beautiful velvety sauce. All right, time to plate. Once on the plate, you wanna add your uh, fried sage just at the top. See, it maintain beautiful, vibrant green color and is a little crispy, exactly what we wanted. And now you wanna have a few drops of vincotto and a grade of pecorino romano for the saltiness. And here we have our Pumpkin ravioli with bada, sage, sour cherries, pecorino romano, and vincotto. Buon appetito.